First, you have to upload and prepare the data series into a finimeter. Go to the option My Lab of the menu bar and choose Data Series. Click on Add Data Series and select the file Curve 1. Now, complete all the fields to provide the experimental conditions of the isotherm. Name, equipment, exact volume of the ITC instrument, temperature, and the name and concentrations of the titrate N, which is the protein, and the titrant A, which is the ligand. Save the data series and into your project challenge 2014 create a fit sub project to fit curve 1. Name the sub project, for instance, analysis of curve 1, and select the analysis approach independent sites. Optionally, you can add some comments. Finally, save the sub project. Add the data series curve 1 and double check that the experimental conditions therein are correct. Click on finish. Now have a quick look at the tables of the experimental settings window and decide what parameters need to be fit. For this, revise the tips and clues provided by Dr. Brooks and the Affinimeter team. Since no blank dilution experiment was subtracted from the curve, set key deal as fitting parameter. Set the RM parameter as variable 2 to account for the protein concentration uncertainty of 10%. Dr. Brooks suspects that the protein has two independent sites that are different. Thus, choose a number of sets equal to 2 and one site per set. Importantly, you have to uncheck the option Fit of the site's number to keep it constant throughout the fitting. K and delta H are fitting parameters. By keeping the default options of random seed and min and max limits, you will search for a solution within a broad range of values. Now we are ready to start the fitting. Here is the fitted curve and the tables with the result. Good, isn't it? Wasn't that difficult, right? Now we challenge you to complete step 2, the global fitting of four curves. Visit our website to get useful tips and clues to get the right global fitting and also to download the curves if you haven't done it yet. Share doubts and comments in our Facebook and remember that a Kindle Fire tablet can be yours!